less red, I, th I think. It's so hard to tell if these are even, y'all. It really is. And then let's just brush through that color because it kind of gets rid of the line, you know? It looks more like, a little more like natural hair. When you brush up and you can see the hairs, see how you can see them? It looks a little more natural that way. I mean, obviously, if you're drawing your brows on like I have to, um, it's not natural. No, it's not a natural look, whatever. All right, let's see. Is this got to be scrolled? No, nope. this has got to be. Let's see if I can get some on without having to go. I do like her product. I do like this pencil. I just don't like that I have to go find a uh, pencil sharpener. And then after that, I just moved and went down. It's kind of hard to talk and do this. <laughs> just did it again. The good news is both times where it landed, I like. Um, but anyway, it's just what do you have to do with the shavings after it? You know, like you have to go get them all out and then it gets all over you, the little waxy shavings. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, and now I'm going to use an E35. This says tapered blending brush, but this is one of my favorite just all over blending brushes to kind of just get rid of any lines. Just don't over blend it because you don't want to mute the colors that you put on too much. You want to blend them together a little and get these edges blended off a little but don't overdo it or you'll you'll lose the individual color you just want to blend the lines where they meet off that's all you want to do okay and now i am going to do a liner now we're going to do a little short one today here and coming back down to it this is the dhc which you all know from any of my videos that you watch, this is my favorite liner in the whole world. And I'm just going to clean that up a little bit. Get all the way down to the lash line. Now, I could have left it on one pass if I wanted to because I don't want it overly dark today. So that's about as dark as I'm going to go. Has that. And this again is the DHC Liquid Eyeliner EX. It is a brush, not a pen, like a felted pen. And that's what I love about it. Here we go. For whatever reason, it's harder for me to do the outer wing on my right eye. I think it's just the angle with which you pull. And so it pulls the skin more. And as you get older, your skin is not as taut. So you have to do it a little more deliberate, a little more light-handed than the left side. For me. That's for me. You learn your own techniques based on your own body, I think. Everybody does. Like when I pulled there, it pulled straight across so it didn't get all the skin. So there's like this little dotted line effect. So just go back using the tip end. Instead of doing it this way, turn it this way, like flat, and do it. And then I'm going to connect a little straighter across. Like that. And come down. Yeah. I feel like they're pretty even. There. Now y'all know that I am loving the L'Oreal um, mascara that I've been I've used it over and over and over in videos it's turning out to be my favorite the only thing is, is it really stays on it really holds your lashes up it's really hard to get off the only thing that gets it off easily is the Neutrogena um, waterproof um, even waterproof mascara wipes that's the one it will get it off but um anyway so there's that um I don't know if I want to use this today the legendary lashes. I am gonna let it dry, so I'm not gonna do my lashes right now. But what do y'all think of my haircut? I just went and whacked my hair off. What did I do with my glasses? No, I can't even see you. I don't even know if we're on video three. Are we on video three? Yes, we're on video three. Okay. 
Well, then I have got some time to let this. Oh, it's caught on my earrings. I have two earrings in. I don't know if y'all can see that because my holes are so close together. Um, but I've got a little kind of diamondy baby hoop and my little diamondy baby crosses. I kind of liking it. Y'all feel like my gray showing. I just had my hair colored. We're going to have to have a talk. I also would like to know from you guys, what do you feel your best um, product is for um, filling pores, pore filler? Now, I will tell you what I feel one of my best is, but I want y'all's input. Um, Charlotte Tilbury's powder is, um, it's called Airbrush. Uh, what's it called? Airbrush Flawless Finish. Flawless Finish. And this is in color number one, Fair. If y'all could see that, and it's again, it's crimson and rose gold metal. It is so nice. I don't know if y'all can see her little logo on it or not because of my lights. See, they're always gonna reflect. So, but um, and inside, it's very, very pretty because she has her. Um, it's a little powdery, so I'm wiping that off. But she has her little signature star right there. That's her thing, and her name right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it's a very, 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 very finely milled powder. And so I'm going to take my uh, Dual Fiber F55 and just lightly swirl it around in here. Slightly tap it off because you want the powder. And I'm just going to kind of go in areas that I want to fill those pores. Because it's so finely milled and this duo level, it really, I think, does a good job of filling it, filling them. What do y'all think? Does that give a nice finish? Now this takes away the glow look. So I guess you're going to decide, do you want a matte look or a glow look? Unless you want to put it back on, which a lot of people do, with a highlighting product. I'm going to also put powder back here. I don't know if y'all noticed, but that gives it a, a little bit of a facelift look to put the light back here underneath the dark. I guess what some people call baking, but it's nothing new. It's just, it's just shading. Here. I don't want to overdo my brow again. Um, I don't like a lot of product on my brow. My um, forehead, I mean. So that is what I use to kind of fill the holes. What is your thoughts? What are your what is your um, favorite product for filling? And again, that does not come with a um, powder puck. You use a brush, but the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores it does come with one uh, a little powder puff, and when you press it in, it really presses in to the pores because that's what you're doing. You're pressing into the pores. And I guess we could highlight. What am I doing? What did I do with that brush? Did I put it up somewhere? What did I do with the highlight brush? After all that, after whole, oh, here it is. <laughs> Where is her famous glow highlighter? This right here. I'm going to use some right here, right here, where you're supposed to use it, down the nose and on the tip end of the nose. And Cupid's bow and there. Again, we're just gonna. Wow, that's quite shimmery. Definitely adds that glow look back. What do you think? What do you think? Do I look overly glowy now? <laughs> if you ever do that and you feel like you've overglowed yourself, then you can always go back with your um, your powder and kind of knock some of that off if you feel like it's too much. The duo fiber is great for knocking off excess, and then you do need to clean it off good because now you've got highlighter on it. All right, well, this may finish out the video, but I'm going to go ahead and try to use this eyelash curler, pop my lashes up, and uh, it probably will take my liner off. It's the only problem because I didn't let it dry long enough. But uh, this is a fantastic eyelash curler because it's such a wide band, it's also very pretty. And um, it's well made. I have to say it's very well made. 
And I'm going to go a little further on the ends and curl back towards, just hold it. And I think I am going to go get my L'Oreal mascara, y'all. Where is it? It's probably downstairs in my purse. Oh my gosh, that's not a good place for it. Maybe I'll do a mascara video. What do you do you want to do that again? I think I just did one though. Just folding them up, just curling them. First, you get that L position that just kind of bends them straight up to your brow. You hold that a second, a few seconds is what I do, and then you let some of the brow the lashes out like about halfway down, and you curl it back towards the socket. And again, in this case, I would say, if you really want it to last, you have to use, what? Waterproof mascara. Y'all should know by now. You know, I think I will do a uh, mascara tutorial as my part three. And um, so I will go get that. Y'all again, what do you think of me just whacking off my hair? <laughs> Well, it just kind of looks a little more stacked, so it does look a little more healthy. I'm sure it's not even, but like I said, because my hair, look at all the curl in my hair. Now, I did use a little bit of curl, but honestly, as you get older, it gets a little more wiry or something. I don't know, but yeah. So, there's that. Anyway, and I'm putting all this back into my little Charlotte Tilbury um, makeup pouch, and then I have this little baby one, too, that I can put in my purse. And I will see y'all in my next video where I will put forth the mascara. But this is my end face. What do y'all think? <laughs>